exothermic and endothermic reactions. Reactions that release heat energy are called exothermic reactions. Reactions that absorb heat energy are called endothermic reactions. Lighted candle and firecrackers release heat due to a chemical reaction taking place in them. They are examples of exothermic reactions. Evaporation of water from any water body takes place with the absorption of heat energy. Similarly, the blue-colored hydrated copper sulfate decomposes to white anhydrous copper sulfate and finally to black copper oxide on continuous heating. Such reactions that require heat energy are called endothermic reactions. Combustion reactions are exothermic in nature. Click on the links here for examples of exothermic reactions. When a small piece of carbon is heated to red hot and introduced into a gas jar containing oxygen, it catches fire and burns liberating carbon dioxide and heat. The reaction is represented as shown here. When a small piece of phosphorus is heated and introduced into a gas jar containing oxygen, it catches fire and burns liberating dense fumes of phosphorus pentoxide and heat. The reaction is represented as shown here. Click on the links here for examples of endothermic reactions. You can see water being heated in a pan. On heating, water evaporates to steam. This conversion may be represented as shown here in the equation. Graphite, a soft grey allotrope of carbon, can be converted to another allotrope, diamond, by heating graphite under a very high pressure. This is an endothermic reaction which is represented here. The differences between endothermic and exothermic reactions are tabulated here.